Hello everybody, I'm gonna do a um, video about my some candles that I have. Um, they are three candles. And uh, first I will show you what the candles look like. Again, hold on. Those are the candles. Can you see those right there? Yeah, okay. So, if you didn't see, we have, I'm just gonna go one at a time, okay? We have three of them. So let me just uh, be freshen up for the video. And uh, my previous video that I did on Star Trek and the reviews of Star Trek and the Bad Batch, I was drinking tea, it wasn't water. I know I kept saying water, I don't know why I kept saying that. I don't know. But anyway, okay, this one is American Pie Mason Glow. These are from ASMR Glow, her, um, her company, and it is obviously apple pie, and it is almost done. It's almost to the bottom, and I asked the ASMR artist if she was making more of these and she said she doesn't know she might when she made these she used to live in um, america she's european she uh i believe she grew up in france but um was born in israel and lived in england and america for a while so i don't know if they're gonna get more of those candles i really hope they do i really liked it I really like that one. And then I'll show you the second one. This one is um, sun-drenched linen made with essential oils. And, oh, also, let me go back here to this apple pie one. It actually smells like apple pie. It smells like it, like when you burn it and when you smell the candle. It's like, it gives you like the aroma that apple pie is being baked in your kitchen. This one is sun-drenched linen made with essential oils. And this one just kind of I, I comes off like that. I haven't used this one that much. It actually kind of smells like, uh, not really like, it kind of smells like detergent, like really nice laundry detergent. Really nice smell. I wish I got you guys could smell that through through the through the screen, but that's like that's basically what it smells like. Okay. And I will light one of the candles. I think it's gonna be this one because it's the smallest and least chance of some mishap happening and I'm burning down the house or something accidentally. <clears throat> and this one is James and Maria organic company I don't know where this came from my dad found it somewhere in the house it says 16 ounces of love body safe uh, whatever that means I didn't know candles weren't safe for your body hand poured in the US 20% of all profits are donated to help low-income families establish a brighter future through renewal and education. So someone bought this in my family. It might have been my sister, it might have been my mom, I don't know. But this one, Oak, Moss, and Sage. Mm, and it smells so good. I mean, I don't really know if that's what Oak, Moss, and Sage smells like, but it's got a really nice scent. It's almost like a vanilla kind of scent. I don't know, but it's really, really nice. And see, the two tops of these ones are just black metallic tops whereas with the mason glow candle you get kind of a gold kind of you know thing going on there um okay i'm gonna light one and then i'm gonna call it a video here but i think i want to show you my uh holiday tree that we light up for every holiday it's still sort of done up for easter but the bunnies were taken off but anyway we'll get to that when we get to that so light it there we go and it gets that nice crackly sound there you see yeah 
And then to just turn it off, you don't even have to blow on it. That's kind of dangerous. You're dealing with uh, flames. It could do something bad. So what I like to do when I want to close this is just put the top right on like that. And then close it like that. And that just closes the whole thing. You do that with any candle, basically. Okay, now, what I want to show you guys. Look at this Christmas tree here, guys. It's not really Christmas. It's Easter for now. We had it done up for Thanksgiving, St. Patrick's Day. Just about every holiday gets a different tree. It's fake, obviously. There's no way a tree like that would be, you know, this has been here for a couple of years now that we've put, put it up, you know. It's, I don't know if you can see the lights. Let me get close to one of them. So you can see the lights. There. There used to be two uh, Easter bunnies at the top. Okay, guys, that's going to be it for now. I'm in the middle of a um, Orville marathon. Supposedly, they are renewing the Orville. And supposedly it's renewed. Some, uh, you know, podcast revealed it. They're a reputable podcast, so I don't know why they would lie. They're saying the show is renewed. Usually they don't announce stuff like that on a Friday because then the news is going to die over the weekend. So usually if you're going to announce something like that, you're going to announce it on a Tuesday or a Thursday or big media days. So... Maybe we'll hear something Tuesday or Thursday about a renewal for the Orville. I'm hoping, keeping the fingers crossed, guys. If there was wood, I'd be knocking on wood around here. Oh, there is. Check it out, guys. Going to knock on some wood here. But uh, anyway, I don't really believe in superstitious stuff, so it's probably not going to work anyway. It's either going to come back or it's not. And it's up to Disney at this point. It's up to Lucasfilms. Not Lucasfilms, I'm sorry. 20th Century Films Studios, which is owned by Disney. So we will see, people. Um, anyway, hope you like the video. Hope you like the candles. Hope you like your cherry. And hope you like some of my Orville talk. May the force be with you. Have a great weekend. Have a great Friday night. And God bless.